Hi, it's Storm from Ninja Bunny Crochet. Today I have for us to do these little dog uh, bandanas. You can uh, make these just using some scrap yarns. I have four different sizes here. This is the extra small size. This would work for your little chihuahuas, dachshunds, yorkies. Your dogs, I would say like 15 pounds and under would this size should work pretty well for. It just buttons over their collar. As you can see, you just undo the buttons here and put their collar in and button it down. There's their collar. And you can just go ahead and button it down and put their collar back on. Now, Obviously this collar is set a little bit bigger for a slightly bigger dog. This was my puppy's collar, my pit bull puppy's collar when we first got her. So this size is six inches wide and five inches long. So that's the size for the extra small. This is the small size. This fits my Shih Tzu, as you could see, you saw him in the thumbnail. He is about 18 to 20 pounds. He bounces up in weight sometimes. And this one is eight inches wide and seven inches long. This is the medium size. This size fits my Pity Now. She's seven months old and she's 53 pounds. And it works on these these type collars. You can use the smaller ones on these type collars too, but I wanted to show you that the just because you have the slip-on collars, you can still use these bandanas on the slip-on collars. This medium size is 10 inches wide and 9 inches long. And this is the large size, and this one will fit a dog 60 to 70 pounds. This is 12 inches wide and 10 inches long. This one fits my daughter-in-law's dog. Um, she has a 60 pound pity and this fits her just fine. So I made these using just some scrap yarn, uh, mostly Red Heart Super Saver. You can use any medium for acrylic yarn. Um, I chose acrylic because it was it washes pretty well. You can wash it and throw it, wash it and dry it. Um, being that it's on a dog, it's probably going to get pretty dirty. So the I would just recommend uh, some Red Heart Super Saver. I have a partial skein right here. And then I just had some balls of just some scrap yarn here too. I use different hook sizes for the different size bandanas. For the small, or excuse me, for the extra small, I used a G 4.0 millimeter hook. For the small size, I used a H 5.0 millimeter hook. For the medium size, I used a 5.0 millimeter hook or an I hook. For the large size, I used a J 6.0 millimeter hook. You're also going to want to have a yarn needle and a pair of scissors. If you are doing the extra small size, I used three-quarter inch buttons, just two. For all the other sizes, I had one inch buttons and I used three. Number of buttons is really up to you and the sizes are up to you. You could use uh, you know, cute little fancy buttons like hearts or flowers or whatever you really want to use. So once you have all of your supplies, let's get started making some dog bandanas. For today's tutorial, I'm going to be using my G 4.0 millimeter hook and some worsted weight yarn. I'm going to work the extra small size, but I will let you know the changes for the other sizes. If you're going to be working the small size, you will need your 5 millimeter hook. The medium size is a 5.5 millimeter hook. 
your large size is a J-hook. All the sizes are going to start off the same for the first five rows. So we're going to start with a chain of four. So one, two, three, and four. And we're going to slip stitch into that first chain to form a ring. And it's going to be a little tight with the G hook here. Chain up five. One, two, three, four, and five. And into that ring, we're going to place three double crochets. Two and three, chain two, and three more double crochets all into the ring. chain one and we're going to work a treble crochet into the ring. So yarn over twice, insert into the ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. And that is the end of round one. For round two, chain five again. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to turn the work and we're going to be working into the chain spaces. We can weave this tail in later. So we're going to work into all of the chain spaces. From here on out, while we're working the bandana, not the collar part, but the bandana itself, we're going to be working into the chain spaces. Pull out a little more yarn here. So into this first chain space, this chain five counts as a treble crochet chain one. We're going to work three double crochets. chain one, and we're going to jump over to the chain two space, which is the point of our bandana. And work three double crochets. Chain two and three more double crochets into that same space. And that's going to form the point of our bandana. Our point is always going to be three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Chain one, we're going to jump over to that chain five space that we did originally and we're going to put three double crochets one two and three and so that we're balanced out we're going to chain one and treble crochet So yarn over twice insert the hook Pull up a loop, let's get a little more yarn, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. So we're always going to end 
with a chain one, treble crochet, and we're going to start our row with a chain five. So now we're on row three. One, two, three, four, five. Turn the work, and just like we did for row two, we're going to work just in the chain spaces. Three double crochets in that first chain space. Chain one. We're going to jump to the next chain space, which is right here. And we're going to do three double crochets. Chain one. And now we're at the corner again, or the point. And we're going to put three double crochets. chain two, three double crochets. Chain one, we're going to jump over to the next chain space and put three double crochets. Chain one, and in that last chain space, three double crochets, chain one, and a treble crochet. We have three rows complete. We're going to continue working in that same pattern until we have five rows complete, and that'll be for the extra small size. If you are working on the small size, you will do six rows. The medium size, seven rows. The large size, eight rows. I'll meet back up with you once you have the right number of size, right number of rows for the size that you are working on. I'm at the end of row five. I'm going to make my last treble crochet and I'm going to change colors. So that last treble before you pull through your last two stitch, your last two, we're going to change colors. So let's grab up our new color and pull it in. Just like that. Get a little bit of a tail. Chain one. And what I like to do when I change colors is I like to go ahead and put a little knot in there. That is completely up to you. If you do not like to put knots in your crochet, you do not have to. I like to put the knot in there just to make sure that it's secure. And I'm going to go ahead and snip that off so that I don't have too long of a tail there. Now if you're working on a different size, the small you will have six rows, medium seven rows, large you'll have eight rows. Now you can work over the tops of these tails if you'd like to, but for tutorial purposes I'm going to go ahead and pull them to the back so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to work along this top edge of the bandana for row one. Now pretty much it's the same for each 
size, you're just going to have a different number of stitches when you get to the end. So in these spaces right here that you can see these, these treble crochet spaces, treble crochet chain five spaces, we're going to work two single crochets in each one of those spaces. So just work two single crochets and skip to the next one and work two single crochets. And you're going to work that all the way across till you get to the end of the piece. So continue working two single crochets all the way across. You do not work two single crochets into the center, just into the chain five treble crochet spaces. I'll meet back up with you at the end. I'm at the end of the row. I have 20 single crochets. This is the extra small size. For the small size, you will have 24. For the medium, 28. And for the large, you'll have 32. To start row two, we're going to chain two and turn the work. This chain two does not count as a stitch, so we're going to do a half double crochet into that first stitch and one half double crochet into each stitch across. So continue working one half double crochet into each stitch across and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. I'm at the end of row two. We still have 20 stitches. You will have the same number of stitches throughout the collar pattern for whatever size you are working on. For the extra small, we're going to be doing for rows 3 through 7, we're going to be doing the exact same. We're going to be repeating row 2. For the small size, it's going to, you're going to go to row 8. For the lar medium size, you're going to repeat row 2 to row, you're going to go to row 9. For the large size, you're going to go to row 11. So I will meet back up with you when you reach your specific row height for the size you are working on. I am working on the extra small, so I am going to go to row 7. I'm at the end of row 7. We still have 20 stitches. We're going to chain up 2 to start row 8, turn the work, and we're going to half double crochet in the next 3 stitches. One, two, and three. Chain three. One, two, three. This is for our first buttonhole. And then we're going to half double crochet in the next 14 stitches. It's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Chain three again. And half double crochet in the last three stitches. And go ahead and fasten off. And I will be right back to show you what to do for the other sizes. Don't forget to weave in your ends. On our small size, you're going to do your chain two and turn. You're going to half double crochet in your first two stitches. 
You're going to chain four, half double crochet in the next ten stitches, chain four, half double crochet in the next ten stitches, chain four, and half double crochet in the last two stitches. For the medium size, when, after you do your chain two and turn, you're going to half double crochet in the first three stitches, chain four, because we're accommodating for a larger button on these sizes. Half double crochet in the next 11 stitches, chain four, half double crochet in 11 stitch, next 11, chain four, and half double crochet in the last three stitches. For your large size, very similar to your medium, half double crochet in the first three stitches, chain four, half double crochet in the next 13 stitches, chain four, half double crochet in the next 13 stitches, chain four, half double crochet in the last three stitches. So we just sew the buttons on and our bandana is now complete. So sew the little buttons and there we go. Just like that. So if you've liked this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring that bell. Thanks for watching and happy crocheting. Bye-bye.